you can write an email to me you can reach out to me on Twitter or on Instagram and just let us know if there's a place in your neighborhood that you absolutely love and you want to keep around let us come show them off let me tell you where we're at today we're at a place called Helios fused glass studio and joining me to talk about it is the co-owner Christine thank you so much for having us out here it's been a blast so tell us a little bit about Helios you all have been around for 15 years yes okay got started 15 years ago with Paul and Karen and then a couple years ago a group of artists and community members bought it and we've been keeping it going ever since we made right. it through COVID with volunteers and a lot of support from the community. So we're grateful. It's an amazing community. We hear that a lot is that it was a, pe businesses made it through because of the community that supported them. So yeah. um, that's the reason we started doing this segment is because we were getting kind of sad about seeing a lot of Austin businesses close. So we wanted to try and get ahead of it so that we can keep these great places around because that's what makes Austin so special. Okay, so let's show off where we're at. So up here, this is kind of a retail space, is that right? Yes, okay. so we sell bullseye glass and accessory glass, dichroic glass, powders that you can mix with glass to make it uh, sculptural and anything you never knew could be used with glass to play with it. No, when you say bullseye, that, is that like the brand? That's the company. It's, okay. it's the only Amer American company that is still making fused glass. Okay. So all of their glass can be fused together. Like with another company, um, like if, even if you got wine bottles or something, that you wouldn't be able to fuse it with this. Uh, okay. So compatibility is a big deal. We teach that in all of our classes. That is good to know. I am nervous walking through here because I know it's all glass. And no. that makes me, I feel like I can break things. It is but like hardy that's stuff. Part of it too is breaking it, right? Yes, and that's actually the best and fun part of it. Yes. Okay. And so, how long have you been doing this? I have been doing fused glass for about six years. I started with a beginner's class and yeah. got hooked and um, found Helios. Actually, got a lot cool. of my knowledge here at Helios. Yeah. Um, and now it's, you know, eat, sleep, breathe glass. It's <laughs> become a bit of an obsession, but we love it. So we let's walk this way okay. and we can show everybody some things that they can do. I guess one thing we should mention is there's multiple ways to work with glass when it comes to doing art. Yes, yeah, so mostly everybody knows stained glass. Yeah. Everybody knows blown glass. Um, fused glass is kind of in between. Stained glass, it, the glass never really gets hot. Blown glass, you're dealing with molten glass and very hot. Fused glass, you set it up and it fuses in a kiln, so you get to stay nice and cool. But there's so many techniques that you can use. Um, all these pieces is a kind of a rotating gallery we have from local artists. Kim Brill is up here, Lloyd Rich, who works here in the studio. Um, some old artists who used to work at Bullseye have some pieces in here, and they kind of drop off things that they're working on, and some of them get turned into classes. Yeah. And they come and they teach. So we have things for beginners who have never started, Intermediate, intermediate to um, really advanced artists. Always something to keep and creativity going. And it's all just going. so different. Everything is so different. Like the one that you're looking at right here, that wave. Like yes. That's incredible. Lori made that uh, when we had a COVID scare. We never had any spread, but you know, like everyone else, we got quarantined, and yeah. so we took it out and we put it into art and she came back with this amazing wave piece that's it's incredible it's a favorite <laughs> okay so then when we go back here what's this area so this is our classroom um, this is where we teach all of our classes it's okay. an open studio so anybody that wants to come in table time is free yeah um, we really support just sharing glass knowledge um, as much as possible so you can come in ask questions we share knowledge very freely around here um, and we should who, who are these two they don't have mics on so you'll have to introduce this them. is Jenny and Lori mm -hmm. they are our volunteers that are like indispensable um, they are working on pieces that we're doing for Diane Sonnenberg she is doing a mosaic that's mm -hmm. going up in Herman Memorial Hospital in Houston okay. uh, it's gonna be 72 square feet and she's asked us to make glass components that she's then going to add to the mosaic so okay. Lori's right now is working on a fan coral, and she's adding little holes that when the glass fuses, those holes are going to get larger, and you'll get lots of these openings, like right here. Okay. Oh, so like this right here. Yeah, let's flip this over. Oh, this was our wow. test piece. Okay. Testing so you were colors. Testing it out. Okay. Yeah. So you print off 
the photo of what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking to match colors. At the actual creatures. So Diane okay. Sonnenberg worked with a marine biologist here in Texas. Cool. Um, all of this fish is based off, are based off of a reef and animals that are in the Texas coast. Okay. So it's, edu it's educational, it's local. Um, we're trying to make them as realistic as possible yeah. and keeping to the size that it needs to be to add into the murals. Okay, and then you cut them as well? Yes, some of the some of the animals will be in different pieces. That's yeah. the seahorse Lori's been working on. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in multiple pieces because it is a mosaic. Mm -hmm. um, the fan coral will probably be one large piece. Jenny is working on a hermit crab. That will be one large piece probably. Okay, now when I'm looking at this, like there's pieces that look like they're glass, but then there's also like powder. So people come in and work with different... Yes, Hi. there's lots of accessory okay. glass. Most okay. of the glass, and especially beginners, people who are new, we stick with the sheet glass. Yes. Um, these are all just color samples, trying to figure out the right color combination. But glass okay. also comes as powder, as frit, different sizes of frit, as stringers, okay. long strings, as ribbons. And we like to play with all of them and see what we can push glass to do. And it gets so detailed. like. What, that looks like something, what she's using right now looks like what I'm terrified of when I get to the dentist. <laughs> it's exactly. Is that what it is? Yeah, oh my exactly. gosh. It's a dental because, tool. Because it has, it has lines on it, you can see how deep your cutter is with these lines. Okay, so they're actually using dental tools here. Yeah, so there's... We it, always use stuff <laughs> which it was not intended. It's okay. whatever you can find that meets the need you have. Wow. Um, okay. And there's a lot with glass. There's some some science to it, but a lot of it is, you know, just playing and being creative, but also knowing the science behind the glass and how it flows and how it melts. Yeah. Um, his hers is going to be not thin enough that it's going to pull apart to make these little um, openings without going too deep into it. Wow. I feel like th it's that's some hard stuff, but you Addictive. also have classes too. We do. So let's, we can come over here. We can show this. This is called Fusing with Friends. This yes. is what people can create. This is a two-hour class that anybody okay. can book at any time for, uh, you know, just a couple or for a whole group. It's yeah. great for parties or work events. Um, this was two, two groups. One was a son and his mom, and he was only eight. Oh, my gosh. And the other was a, an, an artist who's been taking classes with us, and her husband came. They had a date night so that he could see what his wife has been spending her time doing. Perfect date night. It was or lovely. mom and, and ch child, mm -hmm. dad and child, parent and child. That's pretty cool. So these are, this is just like from their brain. Like so it doesn't, like you didn't say, okay, th to make the giraffe, here's the neck and here's the this. Yeah, no, we'll okay. get, we've got some basic projects. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't have any idea and you just want to play with glass, yeah. um, we've got some projects that you can do um, or just start with a shape and get as creative as you want to. Um, we, we thoroughly encourage that, especially with this class. It's just being creative, playing with the medium. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have more intermediate classes that teach you specific techniques and specific skills. That's so wild that this isn't like, this is the beginner class. Yes. It just seems like it's so, it's beyond beginner. I feel which like. you they did. did. A good job. In, in only a few minutes. I did, I did a little bit of it which we can we'll show later <laughs> um but okay so then after this do these go into the kiln yes after that? okay let's show it off let's yes show the they do off. so we have nine kilns here in the studio um okay. we also have a whole a full cold working studio that artists who have home studios can come yeah. and use and come and rent um, okay. if you need a bigger kiln we provide for that if you need equipment we provide for that um, but your masterpiece I made this over here. Can I pick if it ready, up? If ready, yes. Will it break? By the sides, no. Oh my gosh, please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. <laughs> wow, look at this. Did you see that giraffe? Well, guess what? You can also make goldfish. And you cut that wave yourself. I did. I cut this wave. I was pretty proud of it, to be honest. Okay. Only took about 30 seconds, and you had it down. It was. It's fun. It, I can see that it could become addicting to like Very. just come in and just create things. Let's show off some things that other people have done. Yeah, so after it's been fused flat, then uh -huh. we fire it again in a mold, and we have an entire wall of molds that people can um, check out, kind of like a library. Okay. And uh, they can do their home kilns, or we can fire it for them. And so it's, it's, that happens twice. So you're heating it up twice. Yes. Okay. Very cool. And this one looks 
that looks like a higher level. This is, we call it strip construction. It's okay. actually one of our beginner classes. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> well, we teach you, once right. you can cut a straight line, you can cut many of them, yeah. and you can put them together to beautiful effects. And that's really cool. It's not as hard as you think it is. Okay, so tell everybody where they can find you so they can take classes and learn more about you. All of our classes are on Fused Glass, or heliosglass.com. Yes. Uh -huh. I've been saying it so many times. Heliosglass.com, easy, but we'll have the link on our website so people can find it very easily. Perfect. And we also have local artists that teach classes and sometimes okay. international artists who will teach via Zoom. Um, and, and we can have like a class a TV out there. Yeah, for advanced artists. So we kind of we provide for everybody in our curriculum. And everybody's so nice. Like if you have any questions, you all are very quick to answer and be very helpful. So I'm cool. glad you've enjoyed Come it. Come and check it out. And of course you're supporting local when you do this. So yeah. Heliosglass.com or go to KVU.com and we'll have the link for you there. But if you have any other places that you think that we should highlight, let us know. You can send me an email, which is bflowers at kvue.com, kvue.com. Or you can find me on Twitter or on Instagram, at bflowerstv, and just send me a message there. And I look into the places. I have a long sheet of places, and I call them, and we email them, and then we go and check them out, and then we share them with all of Austin because we want to keep Austin local. Thank you so much for having us out here. It has been lovely to have you all spend the day. I'll have to come back for a date night, for real. You all should do it, too. Okay, thank you, everybody. Goodbye. See you later.